the message you are receiving today. It is directly from God the Father to you. 316 of John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. From the time memorial, God has been using people to talk to his people, to touch his people, to save his people, to direct his people. God himself used the body of Jesus to show us how much he loves us. He healed through the body of his child. He prophesied through the body of his child. He walked on the earth using the body of his child. He showed us how we can resurrect through the body of this child with the power of the Holy Ghost. He used the body of Moses to save the children of Israel and the water divided. He used Peter and John at the beautiful gate. When the lame man listened to them, he was able to walk. God will use the body of Kakande, a preacher man, to preach to you the gospel. You, you are going to believe the gospel to confirm that that gospel is true. God will manifest himself, demonstrate his power of the Holy Ghost through the name Christ Jesus his son and remove that sickness, that pain, that problem from your life. You have received the miracle. You begin now to show others what God has done for you. Where he went, he was, went, he was doing good. He was doing good. The mighty healer who healed the lepers. When the lepers saw him, they started shouting. Everywhere he went, my Lord was doing good. Clap for Jesus as we welcome this moment of healing and deliverance. Yes, it is Lady Evelyn who has had difficult in rising up, in walking, in bending because of lower back ache. Pain yet down to the left leg. Due to lumbar spondylosis. Push the lady. The pain she's going through. Because of the severe back ache. With muscles passing. Healing is going on for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. She has got the painful wound on the right foot with other wounds on the elbows all following an accident. Watch brethren, even difficulty in getting up. Watch every part of her body is painful. All following the accident. Watch the difficulty she has even in getting up. Every part of her body is painful. 
And she can't put their foot firmly down. Because of the wound she got in the accident on her foot. Look at me, look at me, lady. Look at me, lady. She's not putting the foot down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Watch, brethren. The working of Jesus. In the life of Lady Sylvia. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus has done it. Yes, what you can say. To God be the glory. And next is Lady Jocelyn who can't rise up. With difficulty in sitting. Watch the agony she has. She has severe pain in the back. Caused by muscle spasms. And she needs to be supported as you're watching. You can see she's even tying a cloth around the waist. Because of the pain. But now, this is her time. Jesus has set her free. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. She has now removed this cloth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Mr. William has difficulty in walking. He has a severe painful wound on the right leg. He was burnt by hot water. You can't watch brethren. They can't walk without support. He's using support of this walking stick. He was burnt by hot water. Give me your stick. You can walk in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, the gentleman can walk in Jesus' name. Watch what the Lord has done. Yes. Let the gentleman be free. To God be the glory. Jesus Christ is the healer, brethren. Next is Brother Kawesa Andrew. He has severe pain in the left foot. With difficulty in walking. This is the moment for him to be free. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. To God be the glory.